friend, it's always a, it's always good advice to, to always read the fine print. But today, I'm actually going to tell you why you can't always read the fine print. I want you to do me a favor. Take a look at the palm of your hand. Nobody's doing it, but I'm serious. Now take a look at me. The ability to focus between distant and near objects is called accommodation. And the way that happens is the, the muscle that holds the lens in place contracts and relaxes, allowing the lens to, stay, to change shape. While it's easy for everyone in the room under 35 to accommodate, as you get older, it becomes more difficult to further process, and you can no longer read anything that's near. And as a result, you can't read the fine print anymore. In fact, 99% of the world's population will require, to ha or will require some form of corrective lenses by age 50 because of presbyopia. But if all you need are some glasses, then why are we here? Glasses don't actually restore accommodation. Instead, you actually have to remove your glasses in order to change focus or use a solution that you, where you lose the peripheral vision. And some jobs require more flexibility than having that solution. But before we can come up with a solution for restoring accommodation, we have to first understand why does the lens ability, why does the lens lose ability to change shape? Is it because that the lens becomes too hard, or is it because that the ciliary muscle becomes too weak? I'm a part of a team of scientists that uses an array of methods to ask questions like, why, what's going on with the lens? And in 2012, we created the first system in the world that visualizes the path of light to the whole eye. And yeah, we're still really excited about that. <laughs> we took that system and we used it on, dip, on people of different ages to take snapshots of the lens. And as you can imagine, that's a whole lot of data. It's my job to take those beautiful images and turn it into, whole, into hard, cold facts. But I just really need some numbers like curvatures and distances and stuff like that. And it's not as sexy as a biotic eye with a laser option. But imagine what your raw data does in, in a search engine. It creates personalized results. But our results won't harass you. Instead, we use it to answer fundamental questions. We also use it to validate the method of restoring accommodation. So that we can create more than just generic solutions. We want to create personalized ones. So. Our exciting advancements in our research have allowed us to be the first people to be able to image, to catch the lens in action, essentially. We can image the lens as you accommodate, and now we can also quantify it. It brings us one step closer to understanding why you no longer accommodate, and how can we restore accommodation. So, although today you can't, you'll never always be able to read the fine print, hopefully when you retire at 40 as a millionaire, you'll have the option to. Remember, that's what friends are for. <laughs>